no control for reality. If you see Chris Dancy walking down the street, he looks like a normal guy, but he's secretly recording everything, and I mean everything. He's wearing a Wahoo Blue heart rate monitor, a Nike fuel band pedometer, something called the Body Media Fit that measures his skin temperature, movement, and sweat dissipation. He even wears a Zio sensor on his head while sleeping. His Google Calendar tracks everything, every meeting, every phone call, every interaction, every skin reaction, all quantified. Why? Well, gosh, um, you know, ever since I was a little kid, my, my dad would like measure my height on the back of a door. Like, and like, I grew up like quantified. And now, Dancy aims to be the world's most quantified man. How do I quantify my digital existence? Dancy, an executive at BMC Software, thinks he's on the cutting edge of the future of work. Most of us who are in first world nations, we don't really do much for work. We spend all our day in our inboxes in some sort of office suite. We don't really produce anything. And I think if we could actually quantify the actual work we do, like how much time do you spend in all these other systems, we could actually create patterns and teams and workflow that would actually reinvigorate the economy. By measuring everything, he thinks he can capture the environment in which he's most productive. The right music, the right amount of sleep, the most attuned mental acuity, and the failings of technology inspire Dancy as much as anything, particularly the uselessness of email. Email's more of a weapon. It's like somebody else's to-do list for you. From Dancy's perspective, early tech mimicked a pre-tech experience, but he believes he's living in the future, a tech world where entirely new things are possible. Most people reconstruct their physical reality in digital space. And a quantified life is also a searchable life, allowing Dancy to see in stupefying detail what is really working. That type of ability to search your life is remarkably, profoundly powerful. I call it perspective as a service. And there are a lot of things like time hop that will send you like a year ago you did this. You know, Facebook and, and Twitter for the first time this year at the end of 2012 sent you your timeline of what were your best you know, tweets and best Facebook posts. They've never allowed you to see your data back in that way. So we're going to start to pivot away from the data collection to data empowerment.